Right, so today we're on the River Bladnock on a private stretch near the top part of the river. Um, we're actually pike fishing today. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. I don't know if that's really going to do work in our favour. But basically, um, there's too many pike in this section of the river. Um, there's not really any unnatural predators for the pike apart from other pike. And um, these pike tend to, the, the jacks anyway, the small pike, they're very numerous and um, they tend to eat absolutely everything. The small trout or big trout, any trout really. Uh, they'll also eat any salmon par if there is any, uh, but that's obviously quite scarce. I mean, they, they eat any sort of fish that comes along. And uh, the fact that there's not many natural predators, there's just far too many of them. So um, basically the rule is trying to catch some of the smaller ones and get them out the river. Uh, generally speaking, if the pike is over five pounds, it gets returned because um, it will eat lots of other jack pike. And um, if it's under five pound, then it gets chapped and taken out the river because there's just too many. Um, it may be viewed as slightly unpopular that, but um, that's what the Fisheries Trust had suggested, just to try and get the numbers of the jack pike down to enable trout and whatnot to uh, do a bit better. I mean, uh, 15, 20 years ago when I used to live here all the time and I did a lot of pike fishing, we took a lot of the jack pike out the river and uh, we ended up with a, quite a, a few numbers of large brown trout, but um, haven't been doing much fishing on the river recently and taking the pike out so the, I've not seen many trout at all this year rise or they seem to be a lot scarcer in number so um, I don't know if that's down to something else or whether that's just down to there being too many pike but I mean there's a lot of pike normally I mean not necessarily in this pool there you go straight away First cast, there you go, that's how many there is. So this is the sort of size you're talking about, sort of two, three pound. Um, I mean, they're beautiful fish, but there's just too many of them, unfortunately. I mean, that's the reality of it. Just gotta watch you don't lose your lures because the water's not very deep here. I mean, this lure does float. I covered the water and I couldn't get any more pike so I've actually changed to this little map there's a number two map great little maps for uh, trout and perch because you do have trout and perch in the river here as well and also a pike will take it as well so um, I'm going to cover the water here with this little map and just see if we can get any perch or trout
and you do get quite a few perch in the river as well. I mean, I don't view them as a problem. I mean, I accept that the perch will eat small fish as well, but the pike are really the trouble. Uh, I think that will do for this spot. I think we'll move, go further up to the far end now, to the deep bits. Uh, this is the mode of transport for today. My mother very uh, generously let me borrow the quad to save me having to walk all the way. Cut about 45 minutes off the travel time by the time we've walked right way to the far end of the other hill. But uh, yeah, nice to have a quad. Don't get to drive on very often. just up here which is a, a wily old thing it won't come in with the rest it's been a nightmare to try and get it in so if I can I need to get by it and shut that gate so it can't go back up the hill Troublemaker. So the bracken's quite long, and I don't know if you can see the windmills in the distance. Renewable energy all very well, but when it's not wind, windy like no wind like today, they don't work. I mean, they're better than forestry, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it'd be nice to get free energy having to live so near them. That's where we're going to go fishing, that pool there. It's quite deep that pool, 15 feet in some places. When it starts off shallow and then gets deeper as you go further along. Actually surprisingly warm and sunny. I mean, the river is quite low here and where I'm currently fishing it's not very deep but it does get deeper
don't think it being really sunny like it is it really helps fishing but when the water is quite dark so it shouldn't matter too much not like if it was a crystal clear river Yeah, this is where I caught that big brown trout. I mean, that was a long time ago as well. But somebody last May uh, caught a really big pike, about 20 pound, a little bit further down the river. So there is really big ones in here. I don't fish for them very often, to be honest. I mean, years ago when I was a boy and I used to fish here all the time, um, you used to occasionally see big pike I remember I caught a pike about two pound once and I was bringing it in and a, a massive pike grabbed it. I mean that pike was at least 20 pound, maybe more. We didn't have any luck with that map, um, so I've changed to this. It's, um, as you can see, a red and clear or red and white, a sort of Rapala copy thing. And it's meant to float, but it sinks. But anyway, we'll give this a go. It's a slightly bigger bait. So it might be more likely to tempt bigger pike. Or maybe even smaller pike because they can be greedy as well. But just um, the thinking being if such a small bait didn't tempt them, maybe a bigger one will. So it's gone very quiet. Um, I fished the, that pool down the bottom and then all the way up to here, which is about 200 yards further up. Um, it's been very quiet. Nothing's biting. But to be honest, it's absolutely roasting. It must be 20, over 20 degrees and then very sunny so it's not really the best conditions for fishing um, I didn't think it would matter too much when you're pike fishing but I don't know we'll see I might still get a few jacks hopefully so let me just attack the lure I think it might have been a perch though actually. Oh, there we go, so I'll have a go again. Or I'm hooking the bottom, it could be that. a fish ok 
go, that was exciting. Came right up and grabbed it. We perch. That three perch, not too bad. And we've got another one. A bit bigger that one. Maybe it's the same one over and over. I mean, they all seem about the same size. I don't think so, though. I mean, you often get shoals of perch. close and then I hit the tree. Well, that was close and then I hit the tree. So there was a massive waspy thing buzzing around at that last spot I was at. And I'm not a great fan of wasps and stingy things. Fish just followed the lure right in and then tried to snap at it. Once again.
Oh well, it was a perch. So this is the deepest pool on this stretch of water 15 20 feet in the middle about eight feet at the edge and this is where i've seen the biggest pike that have been on the river see there's a frog swimming there see if a big pike comes and eats it Perch. Teeny tiny. We got another fish. I think it's another perch. About 12 perch now, or 13 perch it must be. Not too bad. A whole load of wee perch just swam away out this corner when I turned up. So if we catch a perch in the corner, I wouldn't be surprised. I am slightly surprised we haven't had more pike to be honest, but um, maybe it's too sunny. Oh, there's a pike moving. There we go. Oh, just lost it in the weeds. Uh, 
don't know if we'll get it again. Might do though, they're quite greedy. to the weed again. It's another pike, different one from the first one. It's a bit bigger this one. It's about three pounds. That's quite a big one. On second thoughts, that pike probably was the same one. I mean, they're not shy. fish. I think it must have been a perch. Well, so that's the end of the session. It's been quite productive and quite nice and fun. Um, I think we had about 14 or 15 perch and a couple of pike, so can't really complain at that. And it's been a lovely sunny day, so yeah, fair play.